Hello, Mr. Harris here. Just uh, giving you a short presentation about year 10 work experience. So firstly, um, what is work experience? Well, work experience is going to be happening um, this year on between the 3rd and the 7th of July. Um, students will be spending a week out of school attending a work placement with an employer. And why is work experience important? Why do we do it in school? It's really, really useful for our students because we find it's helpful for them to find out whether a certain type of career is appropriate for them. Um, secondly, it's a great opportunity for them to learn new skills in um, an adult environment in the real world, so to speak. Um, it helps our students build contact and experience of what it's like working in a real job, in a real environment. Um, also, it does impress colleges and employers. 90% of employers thought that work experience was essential for anyone applying for jobs. And finally, employers have felt that job applicants with good work experience were seen as more knowledgeable, more confident and more committed um, between 44% felt that people, students who don't work experience, were more confident. So where can a student do their work experience? Well, the short answer is pretty much anywhere. Um, all kinds of businesses offer work experience. Um, restaurants, cafes, accountants, hair and beauty firms, art and design, education, engineering solicitors. All kinds of places. Um, the only time it may be a problem would be if it's an, a work area where there may be age restrictions due to security or health and safety issues. But we do full health and safety checks to make sure regarding that, um, because obviously we will not allow any students to attend a placement which we deem to be unsafe in any kind of way. And we do full health and safety checks. So it's really important to sit down with your um, child and have a discussion with them and try and understand the kind of things that they may be interested in doing. So when should a student have started looking for work experience? Um, year 10 students have known about work experience since September. Well, it was actually mentioned in the, in the summer of last year, in the end of year nine to them. And they've received assemblies, um, information through their tutor times, um, I've been sending them regular emails to their school email with various opportunities and things like that. We've also released information out via email um, in the parent bulletin as well. Um, just so you know, the deadline for arranging work experience placement is the end of April of this year. Um, it may possibly be extended, but we do need placement sorted out sooner so we can complete all of the relevant health and safety checks. So, does the school arrange work experience placements for the students? Um, the simple answer to that is no, the school doesn't. The school does provide support and advice to students on how to get their placements, but it is the student's responsibility to find the placement itself. Um, we firmly believe this is an extra bit of learning and helps students build skills to develop their own independence and responsibility um, and like I said we will give them support and advice and information and opportunities which they can take advantage of but ultimately it is the student's responsibility. So how can a student find a work experience placement? Well we've got a number of tips. First off research using the internet, obviously looking in local papers for any nearby employees who might be able to give a placement. Emailing, telephoning, visiting employers in person is really, really useful. Um, researching companies which they may be interested in. Um, most importantly is word of mouth, speaking to friends, um, pe people like yourself, parents and carers, family members, and inquire if they can help out or support. Um, one tip which we use and suggest quite often is to actually use Google Maps. Um, so, for example, what a person can do 
is they can type in their postcode and any career area they may be interested in and Google Maps will give a whole list of those employers nearby. So in the example you can see I've put here, I've simply typed in BS13 and graphic design and it shows uh, lots and lots of results of graphic designers in the local area who can be contacted to see if they offer work experience. So this is a really useful tip and we've had quite a few students who had success using this tip to find placements. A third tip is um, all students have access to the WebView website. This information has been passed to them via email and also during their tutor times. It's a great resource which gives information of lots of employers who have offered work experience previously. So if you remind your uh, child about this resource, it's a fantastic uh, resource to use to find placements. So how should students apply to the businesses? Here are some suggestions. A telephone call is a great way to show that the student has confidence and initiative. It, it really does impress employers. Um, I do understand that for some students, phoning an employer cold can be quite intimidating. They're more than welcome to come and speak to me and I can do the phone call with them if needs be. Um, visiting, popping into an employer is another great way to show that the student has confidence and initiative and it also impresses employers. Formal emails or letters to businesses are also excellent. Um, it's important to ask your students to be patient. Once they've sent an email, they can wait a week and if they've not heard back, a quick phone call or email to find out whether they've actually seen the request. Um, I've emailed all students as well with a template which they can use for their emails and their letters. So, if a student finds a work placement, what should they do next? Well, you can see on the screen there are two forms which the student needs to collect. Um, they can collect them from their tutor or from the career zone office. Uh, one form must be fully completed and signed by the employer. That's the green form. It does say on the form. The other form needs to be fully completed and signed by the parents or carers. Both need, then need to be returned to the tutor or to the career zone office. This then means we can then start moving on getting all our health and safety checks done and all our legal requirements covered. So hopefully that's been helpful for you, giving you a brief overview of work experience, uh, why we think it's important and how you can support your child when it comes to getting their placements. If you have any questions or require further guidance, please do feel free to email me directly. My email address is below, it's sharris at bemisterdown.org.uk. Um, you can email me and I will try and get back to you as soon as I can and offer you any particular help or support or answer to your questions. But thank you very much.